Hello, David Paul here. Well, it is, uh, what is it? It's um, quarter past five in the evening, 15th of June. And the boys have done a lot of work today, worked hard. They cleared up all this rubbish. The road's got to be cleared yet. And this is uh, being sorted into, that's going to be firewood for cooking on. And all these bits here, I'd, I was saying that it's useful wood, but I got so much other, much higher quality stuff, I'm going to leave it at that, and I'll just let them use that. And this over here is going to be also firewood, I think. Um, now, what they've done, which I wish they hadn't done it, because, uh, because I don't want to create work for them, but all work for me, but, oh dear God, oh, this. There's always some misunderstanding because Scott, oh dear God, that's so, they, honestly, these planks of wood weigh like a million tons. <laughs> they've gone and they gone and lowered them down and put them on a road here, which is very kind of them. But it's just I got to take them all the way back up now. So what we got here? Oh dear God, I'll tell you what, this guy, he has he has an employer forever with me because he has done such a good job. What you got there? You got some like squirrel looks, you know, like squirrel marks on the chainsaw cut wood. Complete irrelevance, really. It just doesn't matter. In fact, if I, if I machine the wood and make it look perfect, I might detract from the appearance and, and make it look less, look less nice, you know. So anyway, um, I'm just thinking, I, I, I always round over wood, you know, on the corners. Like there, I use a round over router. And um, I was thinking maybe I shouldn't do that. But then I realised something. There's a guy called Wrangler Star. And he, talk, he was talking about... Uh, um, lighting fires and, and getting the logs to burn and he said you've got to split the logs because the the fire needs an edge to get started on and it's just a thought i don't know i'll have to test it but it seems to me that the same principle applies to possible rot so if you round over the edge maybe it slows down the progression of rot because they don't get a nice nice edge to get started in but boy, I've got to do something about this potentially rotting because this is such good wood and it's taken so long to grow it that uh, I, dare not, um, I dare not mess this job up. Now what I've got here is one, two, two long, or oh, there's two long lengths there. Where the hell is the rest of them? Oh, God. I hope he hasn't. Oh my God, you, you, you can't believe how heavy that is. Um, okay, this is so funny. It's not funny, really. It's not funny. The last thing you want to do in the Philippines is generate physical work unnecessarily, you know? <laughs> this, is the, this is the place where you want as many power tools as you can lay your hands on. So anyway, we've got two there. And there were, in total, eight. Oh God, please, 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 God, let me let there be it. Oh, so what we got? We got two there. What the hell have they done? They split one of them down the middle, which I didn't want them to do. Okay. So I got one, two, three. Ah oh, man, I started out with eight, and they've got me down to. Jesus, that's terrible. I really got to get my... I've got to get six out of this. Never mind. Um, well, we'll see. So tomorrow they're going to start on the big log up the top. And, uh, and that's it. Um, this is going to be brutal once I get started on this on my own. Because I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to get them up the top again. 
drag them up myself. Uh, mm, I'm just going to have to get, ask them to take them up. Uh, because there's, there's no way I'm going to be able to lift them singly on my own. I might pull one up and it'll be lathered in sweat, go off to take a shower, pull another one up. We're looking at like, tw um, well, at the very least six, six that I've got to hold back up. Lots and lots of interesting uh, wainy edged bits of wood up the top there, um, which I'm going to make into, into stuff. Um, I don't know what the hell's going on with these guys. I really don't. I, I, I don't know how they can start out with six, with eight logs, and then end up with five. Don't know how they did that. This one's not straight. I'll just tell them to leave that alone. Because if he starts trimming, it is straight. I think it's something to do with the the wood is starting to dry out and contract. It is straight, basically. Um, man, I don't know. I guess what does it matter because it's going to be underneath. It doesn't need to look so pretty, but I'd rather it did because eventually I was hoping to jack the house up and have a sort of under croft thing. But to be honest, in this location, that's not really necessary. I've got so much land, I don't need to be uh, up above. Okay. I'm getting offers of, uh, of new women, which I find amusing and nice. It cheers me up, but uh, resist it all. It all cost. It won't work. Um, oh well. That's it then. This is what I call banana wood. Look at the bend on that wood. Oh dear God. That's not good. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Don't know what I'm going to do about that. I just hope and pray that it straightens itself out. Or just put it under some uh, force to, to get it to bend. W wood will bend as it dries if you want it to. So if I say, um, if I say I got one perfect there, this one, call that a perfect. And then say, I got two perfects and one perfect, and I need to get two more perfects out of that job there. And then all the others I'll cut in shorter lengths. As I was saying, you know, you, you have to, with this wood, if it's not straight, you have to take out the piece that is straight and use that. So it's going to be a hodgepodge, a bit of a jigsaw puzzle to put this together. And I can see now why it's becoming a good idea to uh, prefabricate here because this house needs to be constructed and it needs to settle in. Now, I'll be making it out of the, the wet wood because you've got to get on with it. And uh, what I'll do is I'll... I'll allow for the distortion of the wood as it dries by not machining the uh, top of the beams flat. I'll wait until they twist and they're not regular, say if they're like that, and then I'll put my planer over the top and get them all absolutely flat to the same level. I've got a laser level, laser level for that and I'll use that. And uh, then let the thing settle in and then start putting the roof over and so on. It's looking good though. It's looking like I've got enough uh, wood for the structure of the house and I'm in business. So that's that. There you go. Very nice. So that's it for today. 
I don't know how the bill is running, but I'm told that it's not going to be high. Um, be a couple of thousand pesos. A thousand pesos is 14 English pounds. Possibly just short of $20 US. Um, and that's per day or something like that. And to hell with it, I, I've got about a thousand quids worth of wood here. Uh, if I was to buy this in England. Of course, it would be properly kiln dried and all that, but even so, this would cost me a fortune in England. So that's it. Makita Tayo Sakana, another day. Uh, Atilago. See you later. Jesus be with you.